Well, I'm going to start from a personal perspective um, first, and then it goes into my creative perspective, believe it or not. So from a personal perspective, um, I'll start off in January, actually. Um, it's going to be, this is, you know, this is it. I lost my mother and my grandmother 10 days apart in January uh, within like the first two weeks. And um, that actually was a like the biggest um, deal breaker or the deal maker, if you will, for me as an as an artist, uh, because my mom was like my biggest cheerleader. And, you know, I'm a mama's girl. So that was a really big, um, really big situation for me to to start off for 2020. Um, shout out to Grunge Cake and Richard Dean. I love I mean, that's just my heart. Um, she actually was down on, um, in Houston at the time, right around that, that time when my mom was going through her transition. And so um, having a person like that to be there, um, who I, we're not, like, we don't know each other. We didn't know each other personally. It was, you know, um, we began to work together. But my whole point is for her to be there, which was like that musical connection for me. Um, it played, it played a, a, a it, it made me know that music was supporting me, if you will. Um, I still had that to go to, if you will, right? And so um, then when my mom transitioned, um, I had to deal with a lot of things mentally and emotionally. Um, but my mom always told me that music was what I was made to do. Um, I, I was, a, I was her superstar. So this is going to be very interesting. The week that, um, we had my mom's memorial, actually I performed that night. Um, the day of, um, the day that um, we had like a, I guess like we went to spread her ashes, um, I had a performance that night. And <laughs> so you would think, well, how could you like, and, and it's so ironic because I was getting booked like on that, on like within a week in, in a week prior to those times, uh, to the actual performance dates. And I was thinking like, why would I agree to perform on the night that I spread my mo my mother's ashes? Why would I like? Why would I perform on the the night of my mom's memorial? Um, and sometimes you, um, as an artist, it's like um, if it's in you, it's in you. There, nothing is going to stop you from uh, doing what you were meant to do. And so I had to really hold on to that as an artist, but then also um, as a creator. Um, my What I've learned over the years of being a live performer is that as an artist, you have control over the room. You are in control of the atmosphere. And so... I took that, I created um, very important moments for me um, at a very, uh, <laughs> you know, at a, at a very pivotal point in my life um, as an artist and as a creator um, and then also just as a human being, right? Um, so it created such um, an inspiration for me to be a, a voice for a lot of people, for everyone, really, because we all have had to deal with death this year um, in some type of form, right? And so as an artist, I've just always, I, I've just had to stick with my heart, you know, and I think we've all had to dig a little bit deeper than we normally would have on a regular year, if you will.